Spirit. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, the heavenly King, O God, the mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness. That for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me. And you shall eat well, you shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, the hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you and you give, you give them their, their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord feeds us, hands us all our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword? No, 
In all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, or, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked, he saw the vast crowd. His heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured the, their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages to buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven. He said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, Twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, if we wanted to summarize the whole um, gospel today, we would have to say simply that Jesus is the only one who satisfies the longing of our souls. The only one. So what's the problem? The problem is pride. Simply that we want to nourish ourselves. We want to be the source of life and goodness ourselves. That's basically it. Nothing else. So the, uh, the passage begins with Jesus feeling pity for the crowd. And then the end is, and they were all satisfied. Very beautiful and very simple. So if Jesus is the bread of life, how come we are, we are spiritually hung, hungry? Well, the same thing that happens on, on a human level. I mean, we shouldn't have people dying from hunger anywhere in the world. We have food for everyone in the world today. So what's the problem? The problem is power, um, 
corruption. Same, food is not being distributed to everyone. Same thing in the spiritual life. Jesus is the bread of life who satisfies uh, the longing of our souls. So we are, uh, we lack strong spiritual life because there is someone who interferes in us nourishing ourselves from Christ. And thus the devil, see, God has made it easy for us in life so that we may nourish uh, ourselves from him, from his presence, from his bread. But then the devil keeps food from the souls of people. Say, so um, how come this is happening? Well, every sin creates disorder. Every single one of us, every single one of them. Um, I mean, can you imagine a factory where half the workers are doing the right thing, the other half are sabotaging everything? What, what sort of item comes at the end? Well, this is exactly what happens in the world every single day. Millions, millions of sins every day throughout the world. So we have crime, hunger, violence, grief, hatred, even natural disasters. So what's, what can we do? Well, the, the one, the, the only little thing we need to do is to do as much good as we can. And the devil might say, you know, are you going to do something against the whole world living in sin? What you do is nothing. Well, that is not true. There is something little that every single one of us has got to do. And that is simply, that is simply, we are going to do our best to stay away from sin. Every single one of us has got to say that. If that's all we can do, Christ is going to be more visible. Then people are going to receive nourishment. Nourishment from our good example for the inf uh, of the influence that we uh, put out into the world. And the devil might continue to try to keep us bound. But we don't have to believe him. We don't have to believe him. See, we can believe. What we can believe with St. Paul is that creation is waiting to be set free from its slavery. And this will happen when the sons of Adam wake up to the promise that is staring them in the face. And that is, we do our best to do good. So, grace is available and it is within our reach. Let us do our best to work on a greater fidelity. Fidelity to prayer, to reception of the sacraments, fidelity to fulfilling our daily duties as perfectly as we can. And, and we go from there. That's the little thing we need to do. Same. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and who suffered? Do you believe also in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and life everlasting? This is the faith we are proud to profess in Christ Jesus our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us now pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is a salutary gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but proffer us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection till you come again.
through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, conformed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom our Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. In this peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, prevent children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O the Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy upon thy people who cry to thee. By the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ, O Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, Wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most